Good morning, everyone. How's your week going? I had a nice long weekend because of the holiday yesterday, and it was very fun. So I remembered to bring Suki the Yuki today. So we are going to start off with some songs, and it's actually been a little while since I've played any of these. So bear with me. Hopefully I'll play them well. Be sure you sing nice and loud. And of course, do all the motions. All right, you guys ready? We're going to start off with Hello, Hello. Hello, hello, and what do you know? Hello, hello, and what do you know? Do you know where your eyes? Let's go for eyes. Do you know where your eyes are? The reason I thought of eyes is because our board down here has googly eyes all over it. You guys know where your eyes are? All right, let's go for another one. Hello, hello, and what do you know? Hello, hello, and what do you know? Do you know where your toenails? That's a hard one. Do you know where your toenails are? They're going to be on your toes. You can't see mine right now. They're in there. Let's go out for one more. Hello, hello. of almost every morning when I first wake up. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 a clap, 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 a clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 and I wiggle my wings away. Remember, you gotta clap. Okay. I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 a blink, 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 blink. I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my head with a shake, 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 a shake, 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 a shake, shake, shake. I wake up my head with a shake, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Alrighty, how about we read a book? You guys remember what I said the theme was going to be for today? It's about balloons. And I was going to say, who doesn't love balloons? But I actually know a couple people that don't like balloons. And Miss Carolina, who's behind the phone, she's actually allergic to balloons. So some people don't like balloons or can't touch balloons. But I love balloons. So we're doing a balloon story time today. And this one is called... Where do balloons go? Have you ever wondered that? If you let go of a balloon and it just floats away, where does it go? Well, let's see what this person thinks. Where do balloons go when you let them go free? It can happen by accident. It's happened to me. Where do they go when they float far away? Do they ever catch cold and need somewhere to stay? Do they keep going up? Can they ever just stop? I'm sure that they're always concerned that they'll pop. Maybe caught up in wires, pushed by the breeze, poked by tall buildings, or tangled in trees. Are they always alone? Do they meet up in pairs? Do they ever get married and make balloon airs? Do they ever write postcards, email, or fax? Do they ever just let their strings down and relax? Maybe they're better away from the smog, being twisted by clowns, or chased by my dog. 
but floating so high without worries or cares? Don't they miss birthdays, parties, and fairs? Where do balloons go? What's really up there? As far as I can see, it's just sky and air. Do they tango with airplanes or cha-cha with birds? Can plain balloons read balloons printed with words? This balloon says, do you want to dance? If one's loose in Norway, and one in Tibet, and one in Alaska, and one in Massachusetts, and one in Bolivia, England, and France, do they all meet up high? Look at this. For a big balloon dance? I bet you guys can't even see all of that. It's a big book. Hard to turn the page. Do some go so far that they end up in space? Do they challenge the rockets to float them a race? And what if the leader gets close to the sun? We know rubber melts and that wouldn't be fun. Then does it go quiet? Do the stars give a shove and send it on high? To that place up above? Does it float there forever remembering me and know that I'm happy that it's floating free? Where do balloons go? It's a mystery, I know, so just hold on tight till you have to let go. Look at all those postcards that it's sending. That pretty fun all right let's do another song okay I've done this one before too but I don't do it quite as often so you've got to do the motions for this one too we're gonna clap and we're gonna shake and we're gonna stomp stomping is very important don't forget that one all right we're gonna clap 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 for crazy so clap 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 for crazy so clap 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 for crazy Downs. It's kind of a funny name, isn't it? Alrighty. This one is small, so I may try to hold it a little closer so you guys can see the pictures. Mr. and Mrs. Downs sold balloons. Mr. Downs filled them while Mrs. Downs called balloons for sale. One day, no one wanted balloons. Don't worry, said Mrs. Downs. Tomorrow is the big parade. We will sell lots of balloons then. They went home to rest for the busy day ahead. But that night, their new puppy, Willie, barked at everything noisy. Hiss went the heater. Woof went Willie. Bong, bong went the clock. Woof, woof wet Willie. Mr. and Mrs. Downs did not sleep at all. I'm so tired, said Mrs. Downs the next morning. You stay home and rest, said Mr. Downs. I will sell balloons today and I will take Willie with me. Thank you, dear, said Mrs. Downs and she handed him the puppy. On their way to town, Willie barked at everything noisy. Honk went a bus. Woof went Willie. Vroom vroom went a scooter. Woof woof went Willie. 
Before the parade started, Mr. Downs filled his balloons. Then he called, balloons for sale! But every time he filled a balloon, Willie barked at the hissing noise. Hiss went the hose. Woof went Willie. When Mr. Downs had sold almost all his balloons, he closed his eyes to rest. Soon, he fell fast asleep. But the hose kept hissing. This time, Willie didn't bark. Instead, he tried to stop the noise. Nothing worked until... Willie put the hose inside Mr. Down's coat. Then it was quiet and Willie went to sleep too. While they were sleeping, a very odd thing happened. Mr. Down's coat began to puff up like a balloon. It grew bigger and bigger. Mr. Downs started to float away. He woke up and called, help! Willie tried to pull him down, but instead they floated up together. They went higher and higher. Below them, the parade was starting. Look at that funny balloon, called a boy. He does look like a pretty funny balloon, doesn't he? That's not a balloon, said his sister. That's Mr. Downs, the balloon man, and he's calling for help. The policeman tried to catch him, but Mr. Downs was floating too high. A cowboy tried to lasso him, but his lasso was too short. I'll get you down, called a fireman. He was just about to grab him when a big wind carried Mr. Downs away. The wind blew Mr. Downs right towards his home. He saw Mrs. Downs asleep in bed. Wake up, he called, but Mrs. Downs did not hear him. Just then, the clock started to bong. Woof, woof, barked Willie. Mrs. Downs woke up. Quickly, she opened the window and pulled them both inside. Mr. Downs floated up to the ceiling. Come down from there, called Mrs. Downs. I can't said Mr. Downs. You need your rest, said Mrs. Downs. I'll help you take off your coat. Whoosh! Down came Mr. Downs. As soon as they were in bed, the heater began to hiss. The clock began to bong. What do you think is going to happen? But no one was listening. They're all worn out, aren't they? All right. I actually have an activity today. I'm going to fill my own balloon and make it float. You guys can do this activity at home because it just uses normal stuff. Actually, it uses vinegar and baking soda been doing that a lot recently, haven't I? So this is a balloon. I've already put some baking soda in here, just about that much. You guys can see it's full down there of baking soda. Um, I went ahead and did this before because it's kind of hard to get the baking soda in there and I didn't want to take up that much time. And this is a bottle with just a little bit of vinegar. And so I'm going to come up closer to the camera and show you how to do this. So, here I come. All right, got that bottle. And we're gonna take the top of the balloon. Might need an adult to help you with this. And I am going to stretch it over the top of the bottle. Try not to 
break it because that would be a problem. All right, so I've got the baking soda trapped in here and the vinegar trapped down here. If you guys have been to my story times where I did the magic potions or last year we did the rockets, remember what happens when baking soda and vinegar get together. They don't like each other, they have a big fight. When they have a fight, they put off gases. And that will go up into the balloon and make it float. So you guys ready? I'm gonna lift that up and we'll dump that in there. Look at that, it's gonna fill up the balloon and it's making it float. That. When I tried this out the other day, the balloon actually stayed floating for quite a while. It's got all those gases trapped up in there. And it's got nowhere else to go, so it just stays floating. What do you guys think? That's pretty cool, huh? And you could actually shake this a little bit more and it'll fill it just a little bit more. I think this is cool. As I've said before, I love science. So I hope you guys enjoy the activities that I've been doing. And be sure and do them at home. And if you do, send us pictures. Because we love pictures of kids doing our stuff. So I will see you guys back here. Let me see what the... Uh... So next Wednesday, we'll actually be in uh, Zion Hill and uh, Tilly. Um, you guys are welcome to come see us then. And then on the 22nd, which is uh, two weeks away, we'll be at the Hector Library and we'll do a story time and an activity outside there. And then on the 23rd, Wednesday, we'll be back here inside the Bookmobile for a live virtual story time. And that one is a uh, good night already, I believe. And we're going to be doing something with bears and reading some of my favorite books. Um, and I will have a little friend with me, so you guys be sure and tune in for that. Um, and then again on the 29th at 10 a.m. we will also have a story time then. So lots of things coming up. You guys need to come see us or tune in on Facebook, whichever one. And I hope to see you guys then. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.